It is June, and I just found these critters all through my flower beds. I'm going to tell you what to do about it. First of all, I'd just like to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And uh, today I am trying to finally work on my own backyard and uh, in my flower bed starting to dig around and um, this is what I'm finding. Grubs. I don't know if you can see them very well, but they're nasty little critters. Um, they, they just kind of, it's hard to see there, but um, they're just gonna sit there and, and they're digging around in the ground and they're eating the roots of the weeds. Um, most people we get in at this time of year, they start coming in and they, they start panicking. They see grubs in their flower beds and they want to kill them. They come in, start to look for what, I, all the panic, I got grubs off my lawn, they're going to kill all my plants. Bottom line is, grubs in your flower beds normally are not a problem. Uh, even on a lawn, some grubs in your lawn sound a problem. It's when you get a complete outbreak um, that they start devastating. It is uh, the middle of June. You're starting to notice that the June beetles are flying around. Soon we're going to start to see the Japanese beetles flying around. Uh, bottom line is, as you start to see beetles flying in your yard, those were your grubs. Uh, the grubs, uh, beetles spend three quarters of their life as a grub in the soil, eating the roots of plants. By now, they're not doing a lot of damage. They're just sitting around, nibbling away at some of the roots, and um, they've already lived the life cycle. They're just waiting to turn into beetles. And uh, they'll fly around, start laying their eggs in your lawn, flower beds, and such all uh, June, July. Uh, this year, I, I just think everything's behind. Uh, landscape in general, we were so cool and dry for, I mean, cool and wet for so long. Most critters haven't, uh, are two to three weeks behind, I find, uh, in their natural s schedules. So I tend to think these grubs are gonna be uh, leaving here shortly. They're not eating. Um, they're going to be flying around. So as you start to see more and more beetles flying around the yard, that's when it's time to get the chemicals down on your lawn. Uh, we, we don't use chemicals. We use chemicals as little as possible. But for protecting lawns, that is one case that I would rather put down. Uh, sometime now, late June, early July, especially while we're still getting rain, uh, put down a preventative grub control. And then in late July, August, when uh, all the baby uh, grubs that are being laid all summer long, start to hatch those baby grubs in july and august have to go from baby grubs to big meaty grubs uh before winter sets in so it's september october november that's when we really start to notice damage to lawns and um very rarely still flower beds i don't worry about grubs in my flower beds i just worry about grubs in the lawn so uh, don't panic don't put down chemicals now for grubs they're going to be leaving they're not doing any real damage if you're getting an outbreak and skunks are coming in and digging up your lawn, that's different. Uh, there are chemicals you can put down and knock them back. Um, but right now, don't do anything. Let them run their course. They'll leave. Uh, over the next few weeks, start thinking about preventatives. There's great products like Milky Spore that are natural uh, preventatives that you can put down. We'll be going over those in, uh, later on. Uh, but right now, don't worry about the grubs. Uh, don't blast chemicals you don't need to. And um, We'll be showing you a few other videos later on on how to prevent grub problems in your lawn. Um, but now it's time to start thinking about it. Um, but don't don't worry about what's in your lawn now and um, just enjoy the day. It's turning out to be a beautiful Father's Day. And um, get outside, play in the dirt, and have some fun. Thank you.